In this brief video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Track Changes feature in Word 2013 or Word 365. So basically, what happens is that when working in a team or working with other individuals across the country or the world or next to your desk, you can have the same document and then pass it around and everybody makes changes and all these changes are tracked between the different individuals. So what we can do here is we can go under, let's say when you open Word, you are on the Home tab to start with, but then you want to track the changes. Then you go under the Review tab, and then you click on Track Changes. Under Track Changes, what it does is that any changes from this point on, the system is going to keep track of them. So. If I go and delete or make this bold, it's going to keep track of it that it was changed. And then if I go and delete or, yeah, just delete that part of it, it's going to tell us that this was changed as well. Now notice it shows these changes on the right hand side or they are minimized. If you hide them, there will be these red marks here on the left and this is new. In 2013 or 365 but if you want to expand them it just shows you what happened so basically any changes even spaces that you add to the document are going to be tracked so then what happens is that the document get passed gets passed around from one person to the other each individual can by the way it will have your name in there posted as well but each individual can also choose a different color if they need it to. Once the document comes back to you as the reviewer, what you can do is then, and I'm going to just simplify it here, make it somewhat a little bit simpler, but you have multiple people making the changes to the same document, and then you as a reviewer, you come back here and you say, okay, this was made in bold. If you like that change that it was made in bold, you accept it. Notice there's a drop down, accept it and move to the next. And it implements that change. Then if you go over here, this was fine the way it was. So what you do is you just simply reject it and move on to the next. And then this one, Word 365, there's no need for the dash there. So all we have to do is just reject it. So you're going through the document and accepting and rejecting specific changes that were made to the document. Now, what you can also do is that you can lock the tracking as well. So that somebody cannot turn off the tracking of the changes in the document accidentally or on purpose. And the way you do that, you just simply click in there, put a password, and then if somebody wants to turn it off, they can't until they enter that password. And this is a new feature in Office 2013 or Office 365. Basically, that's how it works as far as tracking changes. It's intended to be used primarily for collaboration. Now, this next thing is very important for you before you send the document around outside of the organization particularly. There are cases where basically if you go here, you can go and look at the original, you can go and look as to what was changed and suggested. You don't want somebody else outside of your team to see the comments and to see all the adjustments that were made to the documents. So what you can do is you can go under File and then Inspect the document. So under Info here, you can click on Check for Issues and then you can choose to inspect the document. This checks it for hidden properties and personal information before you send it out. So we say yes. And now we are going to make sure that all the comments, revisions, and annotations are taken out. Any personal information is taken out, any XML data, and so on. So we click on inspect. It goes and cleans it out for us. And then you can reinspect it again because notice it's saying that there is still personal information. You could remove all the personal information. You could remove all kinds of other stuff here as well if you need it. However, the comments and the revisions and the annotations are, have been successfully removed. So 
you can reinspect it again and then remove whatever you want manually. Then click on close. At this point, the document should be good to be sent out. Thank you.